Cornet, where did that little Haberlip go? You know, I'm gonna get him if it's the last thing I do. Yeah! And for goodness sake, is that? <laughs> what was that? Who, what, where was that? Is seaweed, the seahorse, Chief. The fastest seahorse in the West. <laughs> The seahorse in the west, huh? Well, when I finish with that little snipper nipper, he won't go so fast. Wait up, boss. You'll need some technical advice in catching that little speed demon. <laughs> Hurry up, catfish. That little pistachio could be coming by any second now. It's all ready, Chief. Hop on. Here's your lasso, boss. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Is that little guy in for the surprise of his little fishy, fishy life? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let her go, catfish. Hang on, boss. This'll slow you up, you little hay berm. Chief, I'm thinking. I wondered what that squeaking noise was. You got a rusty brain, you know it. Well, now, take it easy, boss. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. I wish I had said that. It never would have got built if you had anything to do with it. You're a dumb cop genius, you know it? I got it, boss. This is sure to work. When seaweed comes into the loop, you yank the rope tight. I got it, Belly. I got it. I rope the little rascal, and where he goes, I go. This is more like it, Catfish. You know, for a dumb cop, you're pretty smart. And when he gets tired pulling your big bulk, you got him. Watch it, fella. You're talking about the bulk I love. Sorry, Chief. No offense. Yeah! I got him, Curly. I got him. Boy, have I got him. He won't get away this time. You know, this little guy is a lot stronger than I thought. Aha! Parking next to a fire plug, eh? I hope you have a good excuse, fella. I have, I have, but you wouldn't believe it. A shark! <laughs> I've had enough of your technical advice. I'm gonna handle things my way from here on in. No, you mean out, boss. That's right. You just stay out of my way. I'm gonna challenge that little horsey to a show-off. That, that showdown, Chief. <laughs> this ocean isn't big enough for the both of us, partner. I'm hereby challenge you to a door. Sabby? <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I assume you both understand the rules. Of course I do. I made them up. <laughs> Get on with it. Now, at the end of 10 paces, you both will turn and charge. Will you hurry up, Catfish? I'm starving. Ready? March. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How about that, Pally? The little dumb cup fell for my plan, look, line, and stinker. He won't get away now. <laughs> Here I come, ready or not. He got you. Ooh. You know, we don't take kindly to sharks in these parts of the ocean. Sharks? <laughs> um, uh, catfish. Have you seen any shark? 
Be uh, too bad if you were a shark, partner. I'd start by taking you apart, branch by branch. That's a limb by limb, partner. It's certainly been nice meeting you, partner. Cute little, cute little sunny boy you got there. <laughs> That was close, Chief. Are you kidding? That overgrown seahorse didn't bother me a bit. Now, what are we running from? Who's running? Who's running? You don't know much about westerns, do you, Pally? I'm just riding off into the sunset. And the quicker, the better. The farther, the better. The sooner, the better. And the next time you bring me around them horses, I'm going to take you apart branch from branch. Think quick. <laughs>